It is time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Tuesday, December the 12th, 2017. Brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Funeral services for Philemon T. Oliveira, 67, of Lubbock, formerly of Muleshoe, was held on Monday afternoon at Ellis Funeral Home Chapel here. And the pastor... Pedro Hernandez of Lubbock officiated. Beryl was in the Milshu Memorial Park under the direction of Ellie's Funeral Home of Milshu. Philemon Oliveris died on Thursday, December the 7th in Lubbock, where he lived. He was born on March the 9th, 1950 in Fredericksburg, to Salvador and Guadalupe Torres Oliveris. He married Josefina Flores here in Milshu on June the 4th, 1974. Philemon Oliveris served in the U.S. Army during the Vietnam War. He was preceded in death by his parents, a sister, Anita Borales, and three brothers, Pablo, Lupe, and Isabel Oliveris. Please remember all of the family of Philemon Oliveris in your prayers. He is survived by his wife, Josefina, of the home in Lubbock, two sons, Philemon Oliveris Jr. and his wife, Anna, of Lubbock, and David Oliveris and his wife, Denise, of Olton. His four brothers, Salvador Jr. of Midland, Salvador Jr., a half-brother of Houston, Julio of Dallas, and Juan Garth of Dimit. Also, there are five grandchildren, Mariah, Celeste, Alex, Isaiah, and Mackenzie. The high in Muleshoe on Monday was 64, but the low was a cold 15 degrees. And on Tuesday morning at 7.30, it was 15 degrees on this morning here officially in Muleshoe. And now Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, brings you the weather forecast for Muleshoe, Sudan, Amherst, Earth, and our entire vicinity. Secure your life with fast technologies available through Five Area, whether you're in Muleshoe or anywhere in the world. Security and automation services for your home, Farm or business available now through your hometown company, Five Area Plans, starting now at $20 per month. Fast Technologies offers live and recordable video surveillance. Control your door locks and garage doors, whether you're in your recliner, around the corner, or in Dallas. Lighting control and motion detection. Door and window sensors. Receive alerts through text, email, or phone. Plans again starting at $20 per month. Call today. 5 Area, 806-272-5533 or go by their website at 5area.com. They will also be happy to give you an on-site demo, so stop by their offices today, 302 Uvalde Street on the west edge of Muleshoe. A DSL internet connection is required. That's home, farm, and business security and automation services available through Fast Technologies at 5 Area. Call 806-272-5533 for more information. Well, quiet weather pattern over the next seven days here in the Muleshoe area with highs in the 50s and 60s and lows in the 30s. No rain chances over the next seven days and a few breezy days as well. Looking at the forecast for today on Tuesday, sunny, high around 59 degrees. West winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Clear tonight, low around 27. West wind around 10 miles per hour. Sunny on Wednesday, high near 66. West winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Clear Wednesday night, low around 28. Sunny on Thursday, high near 54 degrees. North winds between 5 and 15 miles per hour. Mostly clear Thursday night, low around 25. 
Friday, sunny, high near 61 degrees, southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, increasing to 15 to 20 miles per hour in the afternoon. Winds and gusts on Friday during the day as high as 30 miles per hour. Clear Friday night, low around 33. Sunny on Saturday, high near 64. Mostly clear Saturday night, low around 29. And repeating our forecast for today, on Tuesday in the Muleshoe area, sunny. Conditions high near 59 degrees. West winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Clear tonight, low around 27. Wednesday sunny, high near 66. Clear Wednesday night, low around 28. Five area telephone. West Plains Telecommunications has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast. Donna Pacheco was named our Channel 6 2017 Mrs. Santa. She will receive gifts from K&K Pharmacy and the Dinner Bell Restaurant. Be sure and watch the interview with Donna Pacheco, our 2017 Channel 6 Mrs. Santa. Congratulations to her. Christmas in Muleshoe is still going on today and all this week sponsored by your Muleshoe Chamber of Commerce and Agriculture. Shop the shoe, of course, in Muleshoe with these participating merchants, Leal's Mexican Restaurant, Mohawk Auto Parts, K&K Pharmacy, Tattered Tumbleweed, Fry and Cox, also, Bywise, Auto and Home, Sparkle Cleaners, The Closet, Lasting Impressions, Fine Things, and also Stone Grace Boutique. Those are the merchants you shop with. Then turn in your receipts to the chamber office located next to the National Mule Memorial statue and receive a punch for every $10 you spend with these merchants. Fill up a punch card to be entered in the grand prize drawing that will be this Saturday. And this Saturday also will be the lighted Christmas parade in downtown Muleshoe. Shop these merchants and save, save, save and keep Muleshoe a town on the go and on the grow. Also, on Saturday night, there will be the Muleshoe Heritage Center's Christmas with Santa and the Shop the Shoe Grand Prize Drawing will be held Saturday. And this is this Saturday in Muleshoe. Shop the Shoe today and save, save, save with the participating merchants. Take control of your first bank of Muleshoe debit card right from your smartphone with the My Mobile Money app. It's customizable card monitoring and controls that help you manage your accounts with My Mobile Money app. You can set interactive controls to help monitor activity and prevent unauthorized use. You can turn your card on or off, set alerts, and deny transactions based on merchant or transaction type and location. Monitor and control dependent cardholder usage. Receive notifications of possible fraudulent transactions and take action. Deposit checks through your phone. Download the My Mobile Money app now at the App Store or Google Play. For more information, you can also call the First Bank here in Neilshoe, 806-272-4515 or go by 202 South 1st Street, the First Bank right here in Neilshoe, offering the My Mobile Money app. Available at the App Store or Google Play, call the First Bank here in Neilshoe, 806-272-4515 or go by 202 South 1st Street, the First Bank member FDIC. This is Isla Reynolds. I am seven years old. And I know one thing, that Leal's Mexican food is the best. I love the chips and salsa at Leal's. The enchiladas are super. You have to try the guacamole and tapapillas. That's at my favorite Leal's in Milshu at 1010 West American Boulevard. Volunteers are needed now. 
here in Muleshoe to ring the bells for the Salvation Army. The money stays here in Muleshoe to help your neighbors. If you are looking for an opportunity to contribute to a valuable cause this holiday season, please consider helping our community Salvation Army in Muleshoe as a bell ringer. Call the Muleshoe Office of the Aging or the Bailey County Courthouse, either one, to volunteer. 806-272-3647 or 806-272-3077. This will keep Muleshoe a better place in which to live. The Salvation Army helps your neighbors. Volunteer now. These merchants in Muleshoe are going to bring you the Christmas programs, such as the second grade Christmas program that is already up here online and on the air. Then we have coming up the third grade Christmas program, Joan Nick's kindergarten Christmas program, the Christmas parade in downtown Muleshoe this Saturday night, and the Christmas lights in Muleshoe. And all of these are brought to you through the courtesy of these Muleshoe merchants. Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, Barrett Potato Farms, Dale Oil Company, Farmers Insurance, and Julie De Bruin, Lance Insurance of Sudan, Lee Al's Tortilla Factory, High Tech Automotive, McCormick Seeds Incorporated, McDonald's in Muleshoe, Muleshoe Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, the Muleshoe Independent School District, Bailey, uh, Precure Electric, Randall Field CPA Firm, H&R Block, all wishing you a very Merry Christmas and looking forward to serving you in the new year to come. Also, Hereford Feed Ingredients Incorporated, Muleshoe Housing Authority, Adrian Photography, WTG Fuels Incorporated, The First Bank of Muleshoe, Terry Burton Service Center, Mohawk Auto Parts, Shipman Body Shop, Muleshoe Area Medical Center, and Irrigation Pumps and Power Incorporated, all thanking you for shopping here in the Muleshoe area and keeping Muleshoe a town on the go and on the grow. The Muleshoe City Council meeting from Monday night can be seen now here on Cable Channel 6 in Muleshoe. And also, you can see it on our website and also on Gil Lamb, which is our Facebook page, and also our Twitter site. Mary DeShazo Elementary School third graders will perform a very cute, adorable Christmas program, Elfish and the Sleigh Riders. It is a sequel from last year's Christmas program, and it will be performed on Friday afternoon at 145 in the Mary DeShazo Elementary School gym. Susan White, the director of music at Mary DeShazo, says everyone is welcome. And as I said earlier, you can see that here on Channel 6 over the weekend and throughout the holiday season. Joan Nick's kindergarten class will present a Christmas program on Tuesday, December the 19th at 2 o'clock in the Dillman Cafeteria. And we will, be perform uh, we will be filming that performance also. Filing for Muleshoe Independent School District's regular and special election 
will be starting January 17th through February the 16th, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 each day at Muleshoe City Hall, located at 215 South 1st Street here in Muleshoe, according to Zaina Carpenter. And if you want to run for the regular or special election of Muleshoe ISD School Board, you need to be thinking about that now. Starting January the 17th, you can file at Muleshoe City Hall. The Fellowship of Alcoholics Anonymous meets every Tuesday and Friday nights at 7 o'clock at the First United Methodist Church at 507 West 2nd. Please use the Fellowship Hall door at the front of the church. AA is a fellowship of both men and women who share their hope, strength, and experiences to stay sober one day at a time. At the Onita Wagner Senior Citizen Center, they are honoring this month Buddy Embry for the work he does so very f freely for them. Buddy furnished the stakes for their fundraiser, and he helped with the turkey dinner and so many other things, and they appreciate it greatly. But he also helped laying the carpet and many other jobs that need to be done. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Buddy Embry. They're honoring him at the Senior Citizen Center this month. Also, on Thursday afternoons at the center, at 1.30 after lunch, they play bingo. On Wednesday, they'll be serving smothered pork chops. On Thursday for lunch, it will be taco salad. And always on Friday, it's your choice of either fish or chicken strips. Now, they're going to be giving away a playhouse for Christmas. The playhouse also can be used as a large story house, so anybody can use it. Tickets are $10 each or three for $25, and it will be drawn for Wednesday at noon at the Onita Wagner Senior Citizen Center, and you do not need to be present to win. Don't forget the burn ban is still in effect for Bailey County here in the Muleshoe area. On Wednesday at the First Baptist Church Fellowship Hall, they will be wrapping the gifts for Christmas in Muleshoe. And you can still donate now for Christmas in Muleshoe at AIM Bank. This helps see that every child has a toy for Christmas morning. Also, at the First Baptist Church here in Muleshoe on Christmas uh, on um, December the 20th, they will have dinner as always and caroling too. Then on Christmas Eve morn, the regular morning worship service will be held at First Baptist Church at 11, and then a Christmas memorial service at 415. And if you want to participate in the Christmas memorial service, please contact the office of the First Baptist Church. Then they will have their first ever Christmas Eve service at 5 o'clock on Christmas Eve, and that, of course, is December the 24th. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just a moment. Please stay tuned. Aim Bank, Muleshoe, and Farwell is bringing many exciting opportunities to the Muleshoe, Lasbuddy, and Farwell areas. And technology enhancements increase lending capabilities while keeping all of the same smiling faces you're used to in both locations. Aim Bank, Muleshoe joins the many area 
full service AIM Bank locations in the Panhandle, South Plains, Permian Basin, and Big Country regions of Texas, combined with an ATM network of more than 750 Stripes convenience stores locations in Texas, New Mexico, along with Oklahoma. AIM Bank has a commitment of supporting local communities and their local customers right here in the Muleshoe area. AIM Bank, where a handshake still means something, both member FDIC and an equal housing lender. The Muleshoe Area Medical Center at 708 South 1st Street has two nurse practitioners, Christy Lee and Kristen Neely. You can make an appointment now by calling 806-272-7544 at the Medical Clinic at Muleshoe with either Christy or Kristen. The Medical Clinic at Muleshoe is located inside of the Muleshoe Area Medical Center at 708 South 1st Street here in Muleshoe. Again, the number to call is 806-272-7544 to make your appointment now to see either Christy Lee or Kristen Neely nurse practitioners at the Medical Clinic of Muleshoe. This Sunday at the First Baptist Church, they will present a Christmas musical, The Greatest Story Ever Told. And we were told something really neat about the Earth Spring Lake communities. The First Baptist Church of Spring Lake, First Baptist Church of Earth, and the First ba first United Methodist Church of Earth all go together every Christmas season, and their choirs present a wonderful Christmas musical. Isn't that nice? K&K &K Pharmacy invites all of their customers to their Christmas party this Thursday from 4 to 6. They'll be serving hot chocolate and yummy treats, and you can get your picture made with Santa and also enter to win an ugly Christmas sweater contest. While you're there, be sure and contribute to the Angel Tree at for Mule Shoe Meals on Wheels Incorporated. And everything you buy, you get double punches at K&K &K Pharmacy here in Mule Shoe on Thursday, December the 14th. And Merry Christmas from all at K&K. &K. Advent prayers and devotions continue today and every day, weekdays, through December the 15th at 10 o'clock at the 16th and Avenue D Church of Christ. Open to everyone. These are 10 minutes of daily devotional scripture readings and prayers led by the minister, Curtis Shelburne. And you are welcome every day for more information you can call 806-272-4619 the lady mules basketball team will be playing littlefield here on tuesday evening the jv lady mules will play at five and the 6.30 game will be the Varsity Lady Mules. The boys will be at Leveland there at 6 on Tuesday night. The JV boys will play. And then at 8, the Varsity Mules will play at Leveland. At Wednesday... December the 20th, they will have a make it and take it party for the staff at Mary D. Shazo Elementary School. That sounds fun. And don't forget, Friday, December 22nd is the last day of school in Muleshoe, and there will be early releasal for the um, Muleshoe Independent School District and the 
elementary schools will have their Christmas parties that day on Friday, December 22nd, the last day of school in Muleshoe for 2017. Students will return to school in Muleshoe on Tuesday, December the 9th. On our prayer list, please remember Jose Triana, Kathleen Hamilton of Earth, Eileen Martin, Barbara Scott, Jim Daniel, Cash Snell, grandson of Della Snell of Milshew, is in Cook's Children's Hospital in Fort Worth, where he was flown last week. He was first admitted to the pediatric ICU and Tuesday morning was waiting for a private room. So that means he is improving. He is the eight-month-old son of Virgil and Holly Snell of Weatherford. His father, Virgil Snell, was reared in Milshew and is a Milshew High School graduate. So please remember, eight-month-old Cash Snell, the grandson of Della Johnson of Milshew, in your prayers. Also remember Al Reisner, a Milshew High School graduate, and Barbara Blackman, we must say, this week, she is turning 92 years young, one of the very first people we ever met in Muleshoe. Rylan Ward is five years old and was severely injured in the shooting in Sutherland Springs, Texas, and he wants so much to get Christmas cards in his hospital room. So please remember in your prayers, little Rylan Ward. He probably will be in the hospital for uh, six to eight more weeks. And remember all of those still suffering from the shootings in Sutherland Springs. And that really means the entire town. Also remember the people of Southern California affected so greatly by the wildfires and also the firefighters fighting those places. Dr. Joby Claiborne, Helen Cook, Felicia Garcia, Sandy Noble and his mother also, Betty Noble, Marjorie Morgan, mother of Pam Thomason. They both live here in Milshew and also those so greatly affected by the shooting at the school at Aztec, New Mexico. Larry and Berta Combs and Greg Combs of Austin is now in the hospital in Austin with pneumonia. He also has brain cancer. He is the son of Berta and Larry Combs. Marilyn and Reagan Cox, Marjorie Precure, who is in hospice care at her retirement home in uh, Irving, Texas. Remember all those who serve our country and all those who are serving our Lord as well. Kelsey Beggs is on a mission work in Cambodia, Kelsey Beggs. Remember Evan Kelly, who has cancer, the son of Danny, and Ricky Kelly of Milshew, Nona Marlowe, and 11-year-old Ernie Toscano. Terry and James Byers and their family always in our thoughts and prayers. And these families who have lost loved ones during this holiday season, I always think it's so much harder to lose a loved one during Christmas time. Don Winningham, formerly of Milshew, 
Joe Pearson, Irma Herrera, Laurinette Mason's family, Richard Barnett's family, and of course, Philemon T. Oliveris, 67 of Lubbock, family of Mule Shoes family as well. Well, it's just about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train Mule News, Train! brought to you today by the First Bank, ah, along with ah. Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Mule you can hear our latest Mule Train rotating on Reach Broadband Channel 6 as well. Find it free of charge on demand on our website, muleshoetv.com. Click on the Mule Train News link at the top center of the page. This is Tumbleweed Smith. Greeting cards for truckers. Details in a moment on the Sound of Texas. And the Sounds of Texas are brought to you here on Reach Broadband Channel 6 as well as MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe as well as in Morton. They're celebrating 77 years of rural electrification right here in the Muleshoe area through Bailey County Electric. They're owned by the members they serve. Call 806-272-4504. Check them out online, bcecoop.com. The board of directors, the members, the employees, the manager, CEO, David Marco, I hope that you enjoy the Sounds of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith. Vicki Schofield of Amarillo was in college, couldn't decide on a major, so she did something different. I went to truck driving school and learned to drive a truck. She had adventures on the road. I'll never forget them. Uh, that's one thing I said. When I'm a grandmother, I can look back and tell the grandchildren, yeah, your grandmother drove a truck one year or several years actually and there's a lot of things I'll never forget it, it was interesting a lot of interesting people and I really grew a heart for the people that I met she met a truck driver named Stan and married him they spent two and a half years on the road together we've driven on Christmas uh, we've been out there on Easter out there on Thanksgiving having to eat turkey in a truck stop Vicki wrote poetry and read it over the CB radio truckers liked it and asked for copies that led to Vicki and Stan developing a line of greeting cards for truckers. A lot of people can't put it into the words to tell their wife how much they appreciate what she's going through back at home raising those children with him out on the road. So when I was driving down the road, I'd, I'd come up with ideas. We came up with the name. One day on actually driving in Virginia, I came up with the name Ramblin' Prose. And I would sketch them out on typing paper and fold them in half and make my sample cards. And several times when I'd be back there sleeping, I'd find the truck parked at a truck stop. And Stan would be in the truck stop showing an owner or a manager my hand sketches. And I felt like they were awkward, like kindergarten children's art that they bring home. But he was so proud of them, he'd be showing them. Rambling prose is thriving. We're in 43 of the states. Uh, we have a distributor. We put out approximately 26 everyday cards the first year. We immediately pulled a couple that weren't selling like we wanted to. Reprinted some of the ones that were selling. We had the first uh, card I wrote for the woman, for the wife at home. We couldn't keep it stocked. Vicki reads one of her cards. When God created the first trucker's wife, he paused for a moment to consider her life. She'd have to be strong with an independent air. She'd have to be special more than most wives, where truckers work hard and live hard lives. But if they work together and all that they do they'll build up a home and a love that's true and then when you open it on the inside it says thank you for being that special wife you've made such a difference in this trucker's life Vicki Schofield of Amarillo I'm Tumbleweed Smith with the sound of Texas